Hi everyone, this is Kagalina from Surfer and today, just as many of you, I'm working from home, obviously. And with this short video, I want to show you how to use your lockdown time the most efficient way and that is by focusing on content creation. I know that multiple businesses and marketers out there are cutting down on their budgets when it comes to marketing, like ad spend or outsourcing some stuff or pretty much anything that is not essential to run your business right now, which is fully understandable and we're following the same path ourselves. We need to remember that people are more willing to spend their time online right now than ever. They want to be entertained, they want to educate themselves, they want to read content and many of them may even want to you know, spend some money online uh, because they are not allowed to shop uh, in the shopping mall. So the obvious alternative here is to uh, turn to e-commerce stores. Many of our users are already investing in content and they understand that if they do it right now uh, and for the next two or three months or however long it will take uh, to normalize the situation, they will be able to create audience to generate leads uh, to their email lists of people who maybe somewhere in the future when everything comes down, they will be the first to buy from them. And I think this is the best strategy you can follow right now. And with this short tutorial today, I want to show you how to create SEO optimized content with Surface Content Editors. You will learn how to create content that will be keyword rich, that will have higher chances to rank well uh, for your target keywords and content that will be friendly for your users, but also for Google's algorithms. If you want to learn how to achieve that, uh, stick with me till the end of this video and I hope we will optimize something great together. Now that I am uh, on the surferseo.com website, I can go into my account. If you don't have your account at Surfer, you can start with a seven day trial to take it for test drive. It costs just $1 and you will get access to all the features that I will mention today and even more. And when I log into my account, I will see the main dashboard that is Serve Analyzer dashboard. Uh, another feature that I will not discuss today, I go directly to the content editor that you will be able to use to create new content from scratch. But I will also show you how to use it uh, with, you know, copy pasting your content uh, from your website and optimizing in inside Surfer. I will work with a keyword and that is which programming language to learn. As you see, I checked it before, but I will show you how to type it in here. Learn language, like singular. And when I have my keyword, I also have to define the location where I want to rank with my content. And you can go with some countrywide, but we can also go with some local ones. Uh, if you run some local services business, this is definitely an option for you. I will go with the United States with the mobile. I think that this very keyword uh, can be searched on, on your mobile phone. I also turn on the natural language processing uh, feature and that means that my suggestions in here will be enriched by data directly from Google API. I click on create a query and it will take like 10 or 20 seconds to uh, load this one. And right now server is analyzing in real time what's happening in this very SERP. That means uh, we take data from 10 of ranking pages. We get uh, what kind of phrases they use, the word count uh, and other important stuff that will help me uh, rank better. Uh, I will click on the one that is already created since uh, we, there's no point on waiting here and I will go to the customization panel. We always start with the customization. Right now we have uh, nine pages to choose from and we need to be smart with choosing competitors. I need to think about uh, user intent and I think that the best um, type of content would be an article but in some cases you will want to rank service page or your e-commerce store and you will have to choose competitors who serve the same uh, search intent. I uh, want to include only competitors that have, let's say, more or less the same uh, domain as uh, mine. And that is not Amazon-like or Forbes-like. I don't have that many backlinks. So I will include this guy here, this one. Uh, they are fine too. This one is also good. I don't want this guy because uh, they have just 16 words and this is a landing page, not an article. So I don't want to compare myself to, uh, to them, but I will include 
this article too uh, and I will skip medium since medium uh, articles tend to rank because of the domain and once I have picked my competitors I just save my changes and based on data from uh, various websites I get the word count I get number of headings recommended and that is like from 0 to 24 uh, it's good to take care of your structure so uh, I will aim for I don't know 10 maybe even 20 uh, paragraphs bold words images this is not uh, as important because you know you have to you have to aim for uh, the best user experience and that's the most important so let's focus on the word count here and move on to phrases we should include in our article. And this is like the most important part. If you optimize for those words in here, you will have the best chances to rank well and to create keyword rich content. With the primary keywords, of course, I have the keyword that I want to target um, and partial keywords from them. It's programming, language and learn. Surfer by default excluded which and to because they are too generic to just, you know, have any meaning uh, right here. But they also can choose secondary keywords and those are phrases that um, maybe I will be able to rank for if I optimize for them too. Uh, I look at those suggestions and I think they are not the best uh, and I will look for another ones. They are not the best because they're very broad and I bet there is a higher competition for those. So I will look for other phrases that have similarity and the similarity score means that uh, the Serbs have similar pages ranking for the same keyword. So let's look at this one, this programming language. Uh, I will add it to my list. It's a very good one, it's got similar SERP and I will have another 500 uh, searches per month uh, for this keyword. That means I can get additional traffic very easily. I will use this one too. Um, this one is also very similar. I will definitely want to try to rank for it too. Best programming language to learn, yes. Uh, I will add it here and I will exclude those which seem to be just too broad for me. Uh, to have a chance to rank for it uh, as my secondary keyword. Prominent terms in here are taken from the NLP, that is Google API, but also uh, they are common and popular phrases from my competitors' pages. So I want to stay, uh, I want to keep it as it is, uh, and um, but we will make sure that all the words and phrases that are here are relevant for my main topic. And for example, want to make it doesn't seem to be very relevant, it's just, you know, some, uh, some phrase uh, that is popular, but it doesn't mean that it's relevant for the topic. So I'll just ex exclude this one and I will move to the other terms, which super long list of phrases that I should include in my content to make it comprehensive. It's a great inspiration for what type of topics you should cover um, with your content and I will look at those. Uh, those phrases are really, really nice, uh, just, you know, generally just looking at them. But the lower you go, uh, the more granular surfer goes. So this is where you should probably start looking into those phrases and try to exclude some of them. If you don't think they are uh, useful, for example, you know, the word guy, lots, like results, like a um, lot, maybe users, and they are not that relevant. And if you have time, you can go just word by word and exclude them. You can also just, you know, skip it uh, because Surfer will organize those keywords uh, from the most relevant to the less relevant. So uh, I excluded a few ones and I will move on to topics and questions to answer. This uh, section is a great suggestion for your copywriter or for you. Um, which topics you should, which questions you should answer with your content. So, for example, Surfer suggests uh, us to add which programming language should I learn in 2019. And I don't think I want this keyword. It's not 2019 anymore. Um, I will also exclude this one, but generally it's a good idea to answer this question. Is C++ worth learning in 2019? So maybe I will exclude it, like in this form, but I will add it with the current date. like this. You can also use the suggestions from the list here. Uh, they are similar to the same uh, you have in secondary keywords. Um, but uh, And they also have some searches, so this is an opportunity 
to rank well, you should include those uh, questions maybe as a headings. It will increase your chances to just rank for them. So just as many as you want. It's a great direction for a copywriter uh, what to write about because every topic can be approached in so many different, uh, different ways. Let's say that uh, I decided that I want a listing video, uh, video article, and I will just leave a note for my copywriter. Uh, make at 10 point, make it beginner friendly. You can leave whatever kind of suggestions you want for your copywriter when you finalize the uh, customization. It will be uh, it will be visible at the beginning of this side panel here. Right now, I am in the writing panel, and I can start creating my content right away. When I start writing, the word count, like here, will increase. So I get real-time feedback on the optimization level of my article. I also, from those most important uh, terms for my content. I get their densities, so I know how many times should I include them in my content. Every time I mention uh, some keyword in here, uh, Surfer will count it. So for example, I will use best programming funds. Yeah, it's good. I'm getting closer to better optimization. I use it three times and now it's good. Four times is also like kind of okay, but if I use it too many times, I may over-optimize this keyword and I will probably have to remove it from the content uh, because uh, I don't want to, uh, Google to think that I'm uh, doing some kind of a keyword stuffing here. We can also like look at those words in here and every time you mention it, even once, it will be crossed out from the list. Um, so use them as suggestions and treat those as your main goal to turn all those phrases green. Now, um, I want to like copy paste an article that I found online and you can, uh, you can do exactly the same with your content. So you can just, you know, go to your CMS, do copy paste uh, to Surfer and see how well, how optimized this one is. Now that I um, copy pasted the content to the content editor in Surfer, I can look at the optimization level in the side panel. So I see that some phrases are really well optimized and they don't need any work on my site, but other ones can be a little bit over optimized and I don't want to Google think um, that I'm doing some kind of a keyword stuffing, right? So I would probably go and try to remove a uh, programming language keyword uh, at least two times. The same with the programming, but that would solve the problem if I just removed two of those. Other phrases need some uh, additional love uh, on my site, like for example, game development. Uh, it's visible in here and I can see other examples from my competitors, how they use this very keyword. And this is a great inspiration if you don't know the subject very well or you are just overwhelmed with writing the same content for eight hours and you just have no idea how to use them in your content. And if we start adding this one, maybe in some better place than I am doing it right now, Surfer will automatically check the density for this phrase. And now I know that I don't have to do anything else uh, with the game development keyword. I can move on to other phrases like mobile app, like uh, HTML and C CSS, and make sure to mention them at least once in my content. The goal here is of course to turn all the phrases green. And if you're done and if you republish your content, I believe you can uh, spot some immediate bump in rankings if your content is already ranking somewhere in the top 50. That will probably be the case. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learn how to uh, optimize and create new content that is friendly for your users, but also for Google algorithms. Let me know in the comment section if you managed to optimize some nice phrases and if you bumped your rankings in any way, I would love to know. Um, good luck.